So I wanted to film. I don't know why, because I'm really lacking energy this morning, but I just felt like getting ready. And I just got back from my trip a few days ago. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen the stuff that I did. Um, I honestly didn't do too much. That was the whole plan. I really wanted to go relax. And it was also my mom's birthday. So we did like a family dinner on Sunday. It's actually pretty crazy to think like I didn't realize I haven't seen my brother and his wife for two and a half years like since their wedding so that was kind of pretty shocking uh, and then I saw lots of my friends we went out for like a little dinner um, which was nice but other than that I just did some shopping down there I did like pre-birthday shopping because I haven't actually shopped at stores like high-end stores and stuff since like basically pre before COVID um, so that was nice. I bought a few things at Le Ton. I have a few things here already and then some stuff's getting shipped. Um, but anyways, I'm going to do some makeup today. I'm like so tired. I feel like getting back into, like I was just saying to a few of my mom friends, like having breakfast in bed, having like cold eggs and cold coffee and like screaming, like from it going quiet to screaming, like it's just such a crazy transition to go back into reality. Uh, so it has been tough. And basically, cause Ryan was with the girls on the weekend. So he handed them over to me and I was like, holy moly, they've got so much energy. And um, yeah, they are like full of energy. I'm thankful they have preschool. So they're at preschool right now. Um, gosh, I need to clean my brushes, you guys. I took my pink mini brushes. They're just so easy to travel with. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm really tired. Where's my foundation? And I also brought my, as you guys saw in my last video, my pink makeup case, which I love so much. I don't know what I would do without that. And I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I just used this brush yesterday, so I do need to clean them. Every time I'm like videoing, it's funny. I like have dirty brushes, but it's because I usually use them like the day before. Um, but yeah, I really love like, I always bring like two of the flat top because I love these for foundation. They're awesome. They're so amazing. They blend so flawlessly. Uh, but yeah, I'm... Oh, I don't know. It's been a weird week so far. And I, my birthday is also coming up in a few weeks. Um, I don't know. It's It feels really weird, you guys. I don't know about you, but when you turned 30, if you're older, but I feel really weird turning 30. It's just like, I don't know. Having an off day. I'm having a very weird day. But that's okay. We all have those days. And I don't even have my period, honestly. But I think just because like, I don't know, we have so much going on too. It's just been kind of like intense. We actually, cause the, or the girls are gonna go into dance, but we were thinking skating as well. And we actually didn't decided together not to do that just cause like there's so much happening. Um, we kind of forgot how much it is on us as well. So I feel like having them do, cause that's every day of the week basically that they would have like, Skating then preschool then um, Then dance then skating then preschool. So it's just a lot to take on right now So I think we're just gonna do the the dance, but anyways oh My gosh, I don't know what I would do without coffee you guys my friend quit coffee my friend Nomo. She's been like Clean of coffee for I think like eight months or something. She was saying I'm like, how the heck do you do that? But she said for my birthday weekend, she's going to have coffee because we're going up to Canmore. So that should be fun. I do plan on doing like a little vlogging when I'm up there. I rented a house. God, look at that. I like broke up so or broke out so bad from just wearing my mask so much. I actually haven't worn a face mask as long as I did at the airport. So that kind of sucked. But I feel bad for everyone that does have to wear a face mask all day because it's just so easy for your skin to get so congested and break out. Like I definitely have to do a face mask tonight or some sort of exfoliation. But yeah, for today, um, Ryan, and all, or, 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 Ryan and I have also been looking at investment properties. So like we, we actually bought a townhouse already that's finished next year, but we want to buy one more. Um, and it's just been busy. Like we went and looked at places literally the day I got back. And 
Ryan also told me when I got back, he wants a f another car for his 40th because his 40th is coming up in January. And I'm like, the guy is just so addicted to cars like I am handbags, but I didn't buy handbags for like, I want to say like almost two years. Like I haven't bought one in so long. Um, but he's like obsessed. He does so much research into them and I don't know. We have like our addictions and it's good to have those things. I mean, when you have kids, it just gets so busy and I think it's always nice to have things for yourself. And he's always had that hobby. And he also has hockey tonight. He's joined like a hockey team. I feel like I, I said this in my last video, but like I really do want a hobby. I think it's like really important to have and I don't have it besides like Bachelor in Paradise. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I just feel like I need something else too. And YouTube videos I can't like really say is my hobby because you know, I do this, uh, it's a part of my brand and as much as I enjoy it, it still is technically work life. So I don't know, what do you guys do for like outside of kids? Like what do you do? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to know. I know some people do fitness. I don't know. I mean, I could join a, a gym again, but I don't really want to wear a face mask while working out. That's the perks of having a gym here. But again, not really a hobby, I guess. I don't know. I can't really see the gym as a hobby. I know a lot of people can, but I just, I don't know. <laughs> I have my friend, Alec. I got to see my friend Alexis when I was out there. I've known her since like early high school days. Uh, but she's getting married in June, so Ryan and I and the girls are all invited, so I might bring the girls, um, and Ryan to her wedding, uh, and I wanted to wait, because I feel like June would be a good time, actually. I wanted to wait closer to four, because right now they're in that, like, peak of, you know, no, saying no, and, like, talking back, and just kind of going through tantramatic phases which I don't ever really think ends but I feel like four calms down a bit which I've seen and I've heard a lot from my friends that do have kids that age um so I feel like I would I, like they'd be able to sit still a little bit better and it might be easier again to travel when waiting a little bit because like with COVID and everything right it's just I don't know nuts to travel but wasn't so bad I actually left super early like I left my hotel thinking there'd be traffic I left um, thinking the airport would be busy and I got through within like five minutes. I don't know. It was really fast and there were still a lot of people traveling. And I just like sat down, had a glass of wine at like this little wine bistro and had a salad and it was nice like before getting back home, right? Like I feel like you sometimes have to do those things for yourself and relax your mind because kids are an all day thing. And I kept getting asked too, like, how come I'm so tired? <laughs> it's just such a funny thing to be asked because like, I feel like we know as moms, like, and I think that's the difference between having friends that are moms and then non-mom friends and stuff. And I'm still at that age where a lot of my friends don't have kids and it's completely normal. Um, but it's just so funny because like exhaustion is just being a mom in general. So I feel like you don't have to explain that. Um, but it's just like, it truly is like, exhausting i'm so happy i had that little break and it was only two or three days yeah three days but actually i'm gonna go in with this for just a little bit oh goodness okay i need to get it together i need to get it together you guys And I'm trying to get ready for my Ipsy booth. I finalized a lot of like the artwork for the booth and everything like that last week. This week my brushes are actually at the Build Your Own Glam Bag in New York for Ipsy's 10 years. So that's really exciting. I won't physically be there, but um, their team is taking photos for me, which is really awesome. I'm sad I can't be there. I'm just going in with my palette now. Um, sad I can't be there, but it's just so busy, right? Like I, I can't do two trips. It's just too much. Um, but I'm excited to go in December. This is a really quick makeup, by the way. This is just like, I don't know. We were going to go for dinner. I don't know if we still are or not. Christine Dominique. I freaking love these brushes. You, or blushes, you guys. These are so nice. 
cream blushes. This one is in warm peach. I've been in love with it. It's just beautiful. Going in with my Boss Babe brush, which this is the brush I have for the Build Your Own Glam Bag, but a mini version, which I made specifically for Ipsy. So that's exciting. And my new launch, I have, oh, those brushes are done. They are getting sent to my fulfillment right now and sent to me. Um, but again, I'll have to get pictures and all that taken. So it, it is like a little bit of a process, but okay. Anyways, I feel like that's just all, or here, I'm gonna put lipstick on because I never finish completely. I feel like I give up in between. I get asked a lot on my lipstick too. This is JK Magic by Charlotte Tilbury. I need to buy a new one. Look how little I have. There's like nothing there. Anyways, okay. Gonna share with you guys what I have so far from my little birthday weekend haul, pre-birthday. Um, I just always like to go shopping there because I don't go shopping here really besides like home sense and like home decor stuff. But I knew I wanted to go shopping there for a few like luxury items. So um, yeah, and I always love seeing this stuff. If you don't like luxury items, then just don't watch this part. But if you do, then, you know, we share something in common because I really do think if you work hard for your money, you can enjoy the things that you love. Um, you know, and Ryan and I always kind of both say that to each other. Like his thing is just completely different than mine, like garage tools and like stuff I don't care about. And then handbags, he's like, I don't care about that. Um, but it's nice, I guess, to have that contrast and to have like different interests and things like that with your husband or with um, whoever you're with, right? So it's always a balance, I think. Um, and yeah, anyways, rambling on, of course, as per usual, what's, what's new. Um, but I am going to finish getting ready and I will talk to you guys in a bit. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. So I am doing kind of like an organizational office remake for fall and I'm really excited. I finally, <laughs> after hours of moving things, I have finally come up with my final piece here and I'm really excited to share with you. I love fall. Fall is my favorite season and, and I'm really excited to share with you guys what I did. So I'm going to go around. I'm going to share where everything is from and then we'll get into kind of like what I changed. But if you guys have already seen my office, then you already know like I didn't have any of this fall stuff in here um, before today. So I'm really excited. So I think I'll just start off on this side here and sorry if I talk fast. I'm limited on time since it took me so long um, to redecorate and everything today. But starting over here, I have my Chanel. This is my little tray that I have um, from Glam Luxe Shop. So I'll link it down below. She makes beautiful, beautiful trays. I have them all over my house. And then I put two cute little pumpkins. These are actually from the dollar store. And then this middle one right here is from HomeSense. And obviously I need lots of pumpkins. I love pumpkins. And right behind that, I've got pumpkins from, this is from Michael's. And then this pink one is from Composition Lane. I'll also leave a link down below. She has a store that has lots of, I have this little hole puncher. This is from uh, Amazon, which I really like the acrylic and gold. And then, yeah, I think I already said Composition Lane, link it down below. And then my pumpkin mug. This is like my favorite mug that I've been using. Look how cute that is. I'm obsessed and I've already halfway done my coffee half. I'm already halfway done my coffee because I've been at this for three hours now. So, <laughs> um, yeah, definitely reserved no energy for making this video after decorating, but I was happy to get like some clips in and stuff. Cause I love watching that too. Um, so right here, this is actually a local company milk jar candle co. And this is their fall harvest collection. My camera doesn't want to focus. There we go. Look how cute that is. I really, really love diffusers and this smells so nice. It'll make your whole house smell really good. So Dina actually from Calgary Party 50 got that for me as a little gift. So that was really, really sweet. Um, I have that there. And then you guys have already seen my desktop. I get lots of questions actually on my desktop, but um, yeah. And then the opposite side of my desktop right here, I've got this Chanel book. Probably one of my favorite books that I've gotten off Amazon. It's really large. I also love adding a little bit of black for like Halloween and uh, you know, the fall season. And then I've just got this bowl also from Composition Lane with like some pumpkins. I think I got these from Michaels. I have this really, really cute little frame. This is from Michaels that I've had for a few years. Right before that, I just have a candle. And then right here, I love this like little tray. So all of my eyeshadow palettes, which is the perfect palette for fall, by the way, let me just show quickly show you if you haven't seen it. Um, I have like a little Venus at Floric um, rose right here, this one. And then this little, 
I'm not sure where I got this little acrylic container. I want to say like HomeSense or something, but it's perfect for storing like my individuals. And then this all comes in a bundle too if you haven't seen it, but look at these shades. Those are so fall, like so, so fall. I love the shades so much. I love how you can see everything as well. So I'll leave a link down below on the bundle that I have in my store. You can also buy this individually. Uh, and yeah, you guys have seen my office chair. You guys helped me pick it out when we were building. And then let's go over here. So that little table right here, that table is from Wayfair. And I'll show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like. So it is gold and then acrylic. I just put some of my decor boxes that I have, um, which is what the bundle comes in, as well as like my makeup case. Got some gold candles, cause gold is Halloween for me and just like the fall season. Um, so we have lots of candles. We've got this pumpkin that I got a few years ago uh, from Home Sense. That's basically where I get a lot of my pumpkins. And then we have some fashion books. So this one here, Elements of Style, I got from Amazon, actually, all three of these I got from Amazon, so they have like lots of fashion books. Let's just skip to this side here before I show you the other side. So we have some pumpkins. These are really awesome. They're from Michaels. They're so lightweight, so anytime the girls want to like play with them, they can and they're not like super hard. Um, so I really, really like those and they're great for decor. I actually have a few of those outside. And then we have my fall bag. So right here, this is my favorite, favorite backpack to bring out for fall, you guys. This one right here, I just traveled with it. I love the colors, it's so pretty. I'll link it down below if they still sell it. I'm assuming they do at Louis Vuitton. I just have some fall pillows back there. They're just beige, got them from um, HomeSense. And then my chairs as well, they're from Wayfair. Everything's from Wayfair in here. And then also the middle table is from Wayfair. And then just on the table right here, I got this like little boo. I'm not much into black, but I think it's perfect for like a, adding like a touch of black. Uh, for Halloween, so we have that. We also have my Boss Bay brushes, which I think are so perfect for fall. The nude color, I think that's so stunning. Um, so we have those in there, and then also this is from, uh, I think, Crate and Barrel, I cannot remember. Right here are from Crate and Barrel, the Pompous. I actually ordered more of them, so it's more like fluffy, but I really like them. I think they're stunning. And then also I just have some greenery right down here. This is from Home Sense, so. And you guys have seen like my cabinetry already. I've already done like a home tour, not home tour, but office tour before. So if you do want to watch that, but um, I just more so wanted to show you guys like all the fall stuff that I have out. And then let me just quickly show you guys in here. It's not like super organized, but it is a little bit more pink and fun in here. Um, I have like my thank you cards right here, some brushes, stock, and like some more fashion books. Oh my God, the girls, look how cute they were when they were tiny. Oh my goodness, so small. And then all of these down here, let me know if you guys do want me to do like a video at some point, but I just have like all my stock, which it's not like, fall really but just to show you how I organize and then um, and then I can hear the girls and then more stock in here so just to show you guys like what that looks like uh, okay hi Mia yeah. oh my goodness okay we're about to go on a walk I cannot remember where I left off but I think it's over here um, so on this side here we have the couture book Megan Hess this is a beautiful fashion book I think it's so perfect for also fall Halloween because it's black and then this was the book we did last year. How cute is that? Our fall photo shoot. This was from my friend Nomo, which I just adore. So I like to keep that out. Um, so these I love so much. I actually found them at Safeway. Um, it's got like pine cones, pumpkins in it, and just like major fall vibes. These are from, gosh, where did I get them? I think Pottery Barn. I cannot remember, but uh, aloes from Home Sense. And then I also have some candles, this candle holder pumpkins right here a candle holder is from crate and barrel pumpkin spice latte candle is from home sense the candle holder is from a local store here i can't remember the name of it um kind of on it honestly these candle holders were like a hidden gem like i saw them i was like those are so perfect for my house and just like anywhere but i'm glad i put them in the office the tray again is from glam luck shop i found this so you guys would have seen this in my haul like a few weeks ago but this really neat bowl um from home sense so i just thought it was so fun with the like silver foil and the pink and then i put pumpkins pine cones inside it this right here is a little holder that i got from crate and barrel and then i just put some of the um some of this in it so yeah, I just thought that would be kind of nice. And then right here, we just have a white bowl and I filled it with some pumpkins and 
fun stuff. This mix you can obviously get from like a ton of stores. I'm sure Target has it, Home Goods, Home Sense. Um, and then candle, same thing on this side. I really love the look of just my entire aesthetic right here. Like this is just so nice and fall. Oh, and this is my, <laughs> what I was just using right now. So this is what I use to hold my camera. But just to quickly show you guys a look on this side right here. Um, yeah. I feel like it's very fall in here and I love the gold fixtures. I think that's again very fall blends in nicely with the two um, two little what would you call that? I don't even know floral setups that I have going on um, and then of course the picture in the back is hot glam or yeah hot glam this right here. Um, she does custom photos custom illustrations. She is amazing and I love that so much uh, and yeah that is my fall office and my desk is from or is it all modern? It's like the sister company of Wayfair. So that is where I got that. And then everything else is from Wayfair. I'll leave links if you guys were searching for anything um, down below, like the office chair, the ottoman, the table, things like that. Um, but I'm really happy with how it looks. I love fall so much. Let me know your favorite season down in the comments. I would say between fall and Christmas are my favorite. Uh, I'm really excited for Christmas too, but I love this season so much. Okay, we are off for a walk. I didn't make an outro, of course, for this video because I'm short on time, but I hope you enjoyed watching my office tour for fall and any questions, leave um, comments down below and I will try to get back to you. And again, thank you guys for the love and support. If you have not yet subscribed, subscribe now, join the fam. Also follow me on TikTok, I'm on there all the time now, and then also on Instagram, and I will see you guys in my next vlog.